Hi. Howdy, hey. I don't normally do this, however, I want to shine some light on a situation that I think needs a little more attention because I have so many issues with what happened. Let me just break it down for you. Four days ago in Knoxville, Tennessee, Knoxville Police Department came across a lady who had been reported um, kicked out of two hospitals and was just being discharged from a third hospital and uh, they approached her she's homeless she complained that she just broke her foot and she was sitting outside the hospital with one of the hospital wheelchairs well the officers were basically threatening to arrest her if she didn't leave the scene and you know just told her go somewhere else ma'am what, ma'am what's your name Okay, Ms. Edwards, they said you have already talked to the doctor. You, you listen to me, I'm talking. You've already talked to the doctor. You've already been discharged from the hospital. They want you gone. Well, they said that you've been checked. The doctors have discharged you. You have no reason to be here. I shattered my ankle and I had a stroke. Well, she was explaining to the officers why she couldn't walk, why she couldn't get down from where she was, why she needed to go back inside, or at least requested it. Uh, first, she was just trying to tell them, no, like, I'm in pain, I need some time. And while well, the officers were not going to give that to her, the uh, officers decided to take action and began arresting her. And uh, she was starting to hyperventilate. Uh, she was having a lot of health issues. She was starting to go through a stroke. And the officers just took it like a joke. They were thinking that she was just faking it. I have to get in so we don't have to push you. Okay. Come on. Uh, uh, there you go. You go right there. Right there. I can't. You got it. If you get in there, you can sit down. You're going to have to get up there because we're going to have to physically put you up there if not. And that's not as nice. So please help us help you. You've been medically cleared, so let's get in. The officers thought she was faking it and just putting up a fight, putting up a scene just causing a scene just so that she doesn't have to go to jail. The officers, there were four involved. They all got super angry with her. They were trying to force her into the back of a police car. We need her on her back. Okay, yeah, get it to her back. Okay. 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 You, you scratch me. We're going to have some more. Okay, Okay, Lou. Okay, Lou. Okay. Eventually, they had to drag her through the car and then just shut the doors on her and let her help herself up. The entire time, she's asking for help. She's asking the officers to help her up, sit her up, uh, grab her inhaler. They kept saying she didn't have one until they finally found one in her, uh, her luggage. Uh, a little bit later, once she's in the car, the arresting officer starts driving away. She's the whole time begging for help. Uh, she has a feeling she's going to die, so she makes that known. Officer, you're going to kill me. Please, I need help. I need to go to a hospital. Oh my God, please set me up, Doc, I need to set me up. And the officer just completely ignored her. Eventually, uh, about 20 minutes into the car ride to the police station, she goes completely silent. The officer notices it, pulls over, other officers pull over behind him, and she notices that she's not responding, she's not conscious, and come to find out, uh, they finally decide to call an ambulance. Are you up? Hey! Hey! 41 Bravo. Can you start me at 47 here in emergency, please? For a different incident. Hey, come on, sit up! Can you start me at 47 here in emergency, please? For a different incident. Hey, come on, sit up! Can you start me at 47 here in emergency, please? For a different incident. Hey, come on, sit up! Can you start me at 47 here in emergency, please
Can you advise what for? Oh, female on Sit up! I don't know if she's faking it or what, but she's not answering me. The ambulance came, got her, and pronounced her dead on scene. The four officers that were involved were discharged and given vacation pay, basically. Nothing else happened besides that. The family of the woman who died is looking into maybe a lawsuit, hoping that police departments would change some of their policies depending on what someone's saying or doing or acting no matter what so the four officers might be getting sued in the end i just want to shine some light onto that situation because it's a really really sad thing to see and know about it's honestly sickening i am pro police i love the police you know i think that what they do is great except for cases like this where they're just ignorant um some weren't trained properly and I think that, you know, there are cops out there who shouldn't be a cop, who somehow got to that position when they really shouldn't be in that position. So that's that's it, everyone. I just want to shine some light on that. Uh, comment down below your thoughts. That's what the comment section's for. So if you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Peace out.